Okay, guys, we're now on to the lesson on convection for heat energy transfer. Let's get into it. You're going to need, as always, something to write with, something to write on, and your attention span. Make sure we're focused on today's lesson. And for using the video, make sure you're pausing, answering all the questions, and checking your answers. You need to be doing that to get the most out of these. And rewind and rewatch the explanation as you need it. If you haven't understood something, rewind it, watch it back again. Let's get started. Now let's think about when we have a mug of a hot drink, we'll have a cup of tea, we always see steam coming off of it, and we always see it rising upwards. So what I want us to think about is why does that steam head upwards and not say out and down? What is it that's making it go up instead? Well, we need to, again, zoom in and look at what's going on with the particles. So as we add heat or thermal energy to those particles, much like before, it's going to increase their kinetic energy. So it's going to make them move more. Now because they're moving more, that leads them to spread out and have bigger gaps between them. So when they're spread out, our scientific term for that is that they are now less dense. Something has a high density, or it's dense, it's closely packed together, but when we add heat, we increase that kinetic energy, then we end up with spread out less dense particles. So let's have a look at why that leads them to go up. Okay, so if we have them in a big glass beaker, Put the particles in there and we'll have some at the bottom and we'll add the heat from below. So the thermal energy is going to be transferred into some particles. So these are the ones that are going to start moving more. So they've got the more energy, so they're going to spread out. Now as they're spread out, the more dense particles, the cooler ones, are going to fall between those gaps. Okay, and end up down below. Whereas because these are more spread out, they're going to rise as the cooler particles sink to the bottom. The hotter ones head up. So we'll end up with cooler ones below and those hotter ones spread out at the top. Now, as they're rising up, they're going to lose that energy they've got and become closer packed together, cooler particles. And those cooler ones that sunk down to the bottom, they're going to pick up this heat. And in turn, they'll start to spread out. And you see, we end up with this cycle of cooler particles sinking and hotter particles rising because of that sinking of the cooler ones. We call this process convection. Okay, it's the transferring of thermal energy
when particles in a heated fluid rise. This term fluid refers to any gas or liquid. So what I've just shown you with those cooler particles sinking and the hotter particles rising up, that can occur in either a gas or a liquid. And when we end up with that cycle of the hot particles heading up, the cool particles, sorry if I can spell that would help, cooler particles falling, we call that a convection current. Here are your key points to embed, pause the video here, make sure you've got all of this written down before you move on. Okay, now self-test on what we've got written down, look through it, say it in your head, okay, cover, right, check, or get someone else to quiz you as well, make sure you've got that in your head. Let's have a go at these. And here are your answers. See, neatness wasn't a requirement in drawing the diagram. And the last one there. Well done if you've got all of those. Remember, you can go back, rewind, rewatch the explanations if there's anything you wasn't sure of. If you're happy, that's everything for today. Well done, guys.